first off, and for most as always, I want to say call Loyim La, Yehawah, Baha Hashem, Yehawah Shai, Baha Hashem, Kakudash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles of Great Moonstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, I shall go on to since I came out there, that's pushing his truth through spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yehawah Baha Hashem, Yehawah Shai, Baha Hashem, Kakudash. Okay, so this lesson, you know, is um, really, you know, it's going to be titled, um, What a Time to Be Alive, all right? And, you know, and we're living in some beautiful times, you know, because um, um, prophecy, you know, is, uh, is speeding up, if you will, okay? Prophecy is, you know, is uh, um, unraveling before our own eyes, all right? And this year, 2022, is the year of Yahweh Bahashim Shai turning up. Okay. And being that that's you no, know, that's you know, the title of this year, you know, that's exactly what is gonna happen. Things are gonna turn up. Okay, things are gonna increase, things are gonna, you know, be heightened, all right. You know, and there's so much it's, it's a lot of things that are going on right now, you know, and it's beautiful, you know. You have um, uh, Russia, you know, they're damn near ready to just, you know, go at it with Ukraine and, and you know, and and the U.S. Okay, you know, you have um, and right now. Speaking of that, right now, as as we speak, as I speak, you know, uh, they're doing drills at the Russia at the at the uh, the the Ukrainian border right now. Okay, so you know, uh, wars, you know, uh. War tension and rumors of wars, you know, is is uh, it's no it's, it's no longer a rumor anyway, you know, but you know, war is, is uh, in the air, okay, uh, you know, you go you got World War Three on the on the high rise, okay, and then on top of that you have, you know, you've been having, you know, way more um talks about uh, you know, um, empty shells and famines and whatnot, okay, you know, um. You've been having talks about how uh, 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 certain stores, you know, are not going to have, you know, the uh, the same amount of food as they once did, you know, things like that, you know. So everything is falling into place, all right. And 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 it's so much more to to to, to speak about, okay. So so much so much so much stuff that's going on that's going on around the world that pertain to privacy, you know, that all we can do. You know, is, is, you know, of course, praise the Lord constantly, you know, but also just, you know, put it on wax, you know, and, and just be patient and wait upon the Lord because this is a time to be alive, man. All right. And when, while these people out here, you know, while they're just, you know, just asleep and, you know, watching the, the, the time go by, and you know, just, you know, the ones that don't know what time they're living in, you know, they're through. OK, because they won't know when when things when things when things uh, actually uh, hit the fan, that they won't know how to conduct themselves. OK, they won't know how to how to uh, um, how to how to be. All right. But us, let me get this real quick. But us, we will. OK, because we have the the wisdom and. Now, Isaiah. Okay, 33 and verse 6, and it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay, and why and why is the wisdom and knowledge going to be the, the stability of our times? Okay, because us knowing, you know, uh, us us knowing and having the, uh, the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, all right, and knowing what the prophecies foretell and knowing, you know, um, you know, the names of Yahweh Shai to protect us, we know, you know, well, excuse me, I don't want to say that, but we, uh, we, um, we know how things, we know how things are going to play out. Okay. We know the events that are going to take place, you know, in these, in these, uh, uh last days. All right. So the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai is basically giving us, you know, a, a, a heads up, a 411, if you will, 
And that's why being this truth is mercy. Okay, because it says that in um let me see uh Psalm uh, ninety one and verse one it says he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay, and what's the secret place? It's this truth. All right, because this secret place, you know, it gives you, you know, a, a cloak of protection, if you will. All right, because you come into this truth, you know, and in, uh, into the ministry of Yahweh Shemal Shai amongst the brotherhood. Okay, you are you are covered, you know, with the uh with the protection of Yahweh Shemal Shai. All right, you are protected. Okay, you are you are in good hands, if you will. All right, verse two it says. I will say of the Lord, he, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. All right. And that's why, okay, and that's why, you know, we uh, we are, you know, um, always calling upon the Lord. Okay. That's why we are always putting, putting our trust in the Lord because in these last days, we're going to need, you know, divine protection. Okay. Divine, you know, it's a spiritual interference. All right. The Lord, the Lord is our, our, our fortress. The Lord is our, you know, our, our, our refuge. Okay, so it says, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous were into it and are safe. Okay, so let's head back to Isaiah 33 and verse 6 and just finish it off. And it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right, man, what times? All right, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, last days. The perilous times that we're about to uh, go into. All right. Dangerous times. Okay. And real quick, let's look up the uh, meaning of the word stability. All right. I'm, I'm going to look it up on the online etymology. Just bear with, just bear with, with me real quick. Right. So the word stability, it means um a firmness of resolve, firmness, uh, durability, a standing fast firmness, steadfastness, a state of being difficult to overthrow. Yeah, yep. So the word stability basically goes into being steadfast, to being firm. To being watertight, okay, you know, and and um, us having this knowledge and wisdom, you know, and, and of course having the having the faith in Yahweh Shmuel Shai, you know, can can allow us to endure until to the very end, you know, because the word endure it means to harden, okay, it, it means to to uh to um to bear or to uh to uh, to be firm, okay, and and, and the word and the word. Stability means the same thing, to be firm, to be steadfast, okay? And like I said earlier, people out here, you know, they're, they're not going, they're not going to know how to conduct themselves, okay? They're not going to know how to, how to, um, how to act because, because they don't have, you know, uh, the wisdom and knowledge to, to allow them to be afloat, okay, during uh, troubling times that's going to happen upon uh, Babylon, okay? They're not going, they're not uh, going to know how to, how to how to be all right and that's why this is a great mercy that that we're in this uh this ministry of Yahweh Shemal Shai you know that we're you know amongst the body you know whether whether you're a you know a prophet whether you are a sincere believer you know whether you're you know just a, a sheep listening you're still in the body okay whether your lot may uh, may be to do this or that you're still in the body because because you know guess what you you, uh, you you call upon the names of, uh, uh, of Yahweh Shema Shai with all sincerity. All right, you are you are being charitable amongst one another. All right, and then on top of that, you uh, you, you are keeping your faith. All right, with all sincerity and truth towards Yahweh Shema Shai. All right. So, I wanted to go back to the original point of this lesson. Okay, and basically it was um titled. Basically, I said it was titled uh. Uh, what a time to be alive, and which it is, because right now we are witnessing the downfall 
of uh, of uh, Esau Edom. Okay, we are witnessing the uh, the crumbling of his kingdom from the inside out. Okay, America is through. Real quick, let's get this real quick. Let me see, this is the right precept. Yep, this is uh, Rock twenty five verse seven. It says, "There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue." A man that have a joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the dark, excuse me, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Okay, and guess what? Best believe that we're are, that 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 we're gonna live to to see the downfall of Esau Edom. Okay, because because right now Esau is being what he's being made bare, right? Uh, right through the uh, the prophets. Okay, through uh, th uh, through the the the, uh, the mouthpiece of the Lord. Okay, and him being made bare, you know, uh, uh, him being exposed. Okay, he is uh, uh, he is uh, he is uh, being uh, put on. Uh, he, he's he, he's being put out on front street. If you all right. And now that people know, you know, uh, what's he doing? You know, uh, 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 now people are being are, uh, more hip to, you know, to, uh, to Esau's agenda. Okay. Guess what, man? He's caught. All right. And him being caught, you know, is, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, furthering how, uh, uh, how, uh, how a uh, bear he's been. All right. Or being made. All right. And, and then, you know, uh, um, and then you know us seeing that is a is it's, it's a very good thing, okay? Because you know, uh, like I said earlier, uh, you know Esau's uh, kingdom crumbling, all right? Is you know is uh, one step closer to uh, uh, to the kingdom of Israel, okay? Because what do we say in the book of Ezra? Let's get it real quick. Second Ezra six and verse seven, and it says. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting of sinner of the times? Or when shall be the first, excuse me, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And it says, and he, and he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hail of Esau. Okay, now if, if you read the account in the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, all right, you had, you had the, uh, uh, you had uh, uh, Esau and Jacob. In the womb of Rebecca, all right, two different nations, all right, and, th and they were wrestling in the womb, okay. So, so when they were born, you, know, you had Esau come out first, all right. But when Esau came out, you had the, you, you had the hand of uh, uh, of uh, uh, um, Jacob, all right, our patriarch of the two tribes of Israel, holding on the hill of Esau, and that was symbolic of the pulling down of Esau's kingdom, all right. And right now we're doing that spiritually, all right. And that's why we are uh, witnessing the downfall of our enemies of, 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 of Esau Edom's uh, kingdom. Okay, because we are catching down strongholds all right, through Yahweh Bashma Shai. All right. And in America, you know, being a being a great kingdom is a very great stronghold. All right. And this place is this place is crumbling. All right. So Esau is going down slowly but surely, man. All right. And it says uh, verse 9 for Esau, all right, the so called white. The white nation, all right. For Esau is the end of the world, okay. Start, starting off with those wicked ass, the, those Edomite elites, okay. It says for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay. Because you know, uh, um, this dude, hey Esau, guess what? You got no. Uh, well, let me get it real quick. I don't want to butcher the scripture. It's the book of Saint Job. St. Joe. Yep. St. Joe 14 and 5, and it says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right? But so the so the Lord Yahweh Shmal Shai, all right, knows when this this devil is gonna be a go out of go out of power. Okay, because everything is ordained by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shmal Shai. All right. And after you know Esau goes down, guess what? That will be the end all be all, okay? For him to ever be a king, to be in power, to be anything, all right? That will be it because because this is our because this is our last captivity, 
All right. And being that this is our last captivity, this is Esau's last rulership. All right. That's why it says in the book of Lamentations 4 and 21. Let's get it real quick. Lamentations 4 and verse 20. All right. Excuse me, 21. And it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest, that dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. And what's that cup? You know, the uh, the uh, the cup the cup of the Lord. All right. The Lord's the, the Lord's uh, indignation, if you will. All right. That cup of slavery, that cup of judgment ultimately. All right, and guess what? That cup is gonna be is gonna be passed down to you. All right, and just like how we had to uh, to, you know, uh, to, to uh, drink that cup. All right, you saw Edom. Guess what? That same cup that that we drank, you gonna drink as well. All right, and it says the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. All right, and, and guess what? He he's been exposed. All right. He's been exposed in, on all levels, man, and he can't hide. All right, so guess what? Rejoice and be glad, O daughter Eden, because your kingdom is falling. All right, we, we are watching, you know, a, a, a kingdom uh, uh, that's divided. And what did Yahweh Shai say? A king, a kingdom that's divided cannot stand. All right, Babylon, Babylon is on its uh its last leg, man. All right. And we're just uh, patiently waiting for Yahweh Shmuel Shai to do away uh, with this place. All right. So that being said, I just want to say, call on La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakudash, and Lord, so you, uh, you you were edified um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. With that being said, Shalom.